Welcome to Soul Horoscopes Weekly Edition. I'm your host to the universe, Christopher Wateki. Welcome back, Pisces. Nice to see you again. Hey, this is the last time I'm going to advertise it right now. If you buy a 60-minute reading with me, you'll get a free 30-minute follow-up in 2012. This is my spring special. This is to bring in new clients. This is to introduce you to what I can do for you to manifest your reality. So come on down to soulmart.me if you're interested. And if you want a home away from home, how about soulgarden.me? We call it the mothership. That's our little term for it. But we've got a whole collective of a lot of little fishies and what we call uh, sprouts that are people manifesting in the safety and comfort under our umbrella. So come on down and check us out. Now we are in Aries this week and there is a lot going on. Have you noticed the holy shifts and the changes in our life? Over the last weekend we had on Saturday and leading up to Saturday that uh, basically an epiphany, right? It really was an epiphany. Hopefully you had an epiphany. In this case an epiphany about what you're actually worth and your soul capital. In most cases, I think the epiphanies were centered around, or quantum leap as I put it, uh, were centered around maybe why you had been locked into low finance thinking in the first place, right? Or low financing, or accepting terms of low financing, or accepting high interest rates in your life from the people in your life. Why have you been paying high interest rates, or why have you not been getting pure gold soul capital from the universe? Well, hopefully you understand the why. You'll continue to understand the why, and that is the first of many quantum leaps when it comes to this sort of thing for Pisces, thanks to Aries and thanks to Uranus and Aries. Now, as we start off on Monday, it is cleanup time. It is rebalance time. Venus rules the day, so it's a day of restoring balance to your finances. However, you had your realization. If it took uh, losing something or having your lights shut off, well, Monday you might turn it on. That's what bringing, restoring balance really is. At the same time, you expand with some real incredible thinking. The moon crosses over the soul pyramid and lights it up one more time. Uh, this is going to break by the end of the week. We'll be talking about that. But as you are moving ahead and trying to balance things, you're starting to see and think on a new level. That's what Jupiter in this next chapter is going to be about. Really starting to think completely differently, probably because of this quantum understanding about what you're actually worth or why you have no esteem. Also, this square is still working out fear. This new Pisces with new prices means, le means the you leave the old village, right? And whatever fears or issues come up around leaving the old community, the old circle of friends, or the old reputation being known as insert the blank. And then Mars retrograde at the same time is all right. That means all human relationships are basically backing up for a while because if these things are going on, if you're raising your prices and stepping out of the village, then you're, then what a marriage is, what a relationship is, needs some notes, right? And that's what the tip of this triangle really is. So Monday, we're getting started and in a complicated way. On Tuesday, Neptune rules the day. The rest of the planet is out of it you're feeling like home. That's because your home planet Neptune's logging you into your higher self. Basically, Pisces rule the day. These two beautiful blue poles are what we call a yod, or the finger of God. God does give humans a finger every once in a while, but what she's doing is pointing on what we should pay attention to. All right. Now, this isn't technically a yod, because a yod should come to one planet or a conjuncted planet. I'm going to call this a dilated yod. What this is, is this started actually on Sunday. I didn't see it in last week's scopes, until I was looking at this one, and I was like, oh my god, and he throw a yacht on the end too? It's like the universe putting like 25 neon lights in the stalter. If you don't know, 
this is what's important. <laughs> it happens just like really, because these are just an isosceles triangle, uh, which is just a rare shape with the planet. So interesting stuff on Tuesday. The moon moves into Gemini, so Tuesday, Wednesday is kind of like your weekend. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday this week will be tired, nesting, resting, vibration. The moon begins that process on Tuesday. So um, as you are logging in your higher self, you might have to recharge first and just meditate. And what is this pointing to, you ask? Well, good question. It's pointing to your ego redevelopment with Mercury retrograde on one side and at the same time raising your prices. So Mercury retrograde is saying, okay, let's rethink ego even though we just had a birthday and uh, because we just raised our prices or we just realized we've been getting ripped off, right? Now, if you need a little help with your yard, don't forget we have office hours on Tuesdays and Thursdays on the Mothership as a free courtesy. This is our Soul Mart office hours, and you can get uh, 15 minutes on screen with one of our practitioners. We have a group of, we have a lot of developing light workers in chat who help each other out. This is a nice thing to do. So come on down. You cannot go wrong with office hours. Then moving on, Wednesday. Wednesday is a decision day. Hump day really is a, a hump day. You're going to decide and turn away from what you don't want. In your case, this is the decision to cut from the old soul capital, old soul capital, old self-esteem, old uh, pricing structure. You know, it manifests in lots of ways, value. This could also be uh, stepping away from old productions, things you wanted to manifest, but maybe you're realizing ah, that was a lesson. That wasn't the actual goal. That happens a lot. The universe makes us think this is what, this is it. This is the one. And really, we realize when we get to the end of that, no, this isn't the one I thought it was. And that might be too, with things that you thought you were manifesting. Now you're like, that was just an experiment. Now let's do the real thing. So you're making decisions. Mercury retrograde is also at the same time coordinating making new decisions or redeciding ego and character at the same time. That's the two points of the odd, and they really are in effect on this day. Uh, moving on to Thursday. Thursday is an action day, so right after doing all this, now we want to act. The moon uh, is still in Gemini, so you're still, uh, your emotions are still needing nest and rest. They're still needing extra pampering. When you're in nest and rest period, you need to pamper your emotions more than usual because they're getting wrung out is what's going on. It's their cleaning. These two red lines really mean that you're going to have to break free from fear fear on this day. This is a day where it'll be harder than usual. And remember to break free from, fr free from fear, you act. That's it. You have to act. The fears here are like you leaving the village. And on this side too, it is your new character. The moon will shift around and that square moves to the sun through the course of the day. So really it's a double, it's a double whammy there. But this is uh, your own just general emotional being will be worried or have fears about the changes you want to make. If, for instance, you're making a big leap in how you make your money, if that's what this transit manifests for you this month is how you make your money, surely you're going to be having to resolve fear between your sense of security, which is the moon down there, and on the other side, uh, what this really means. So Thursday, that comes to a head. Now, for those of you that I watch over personally through the Guardian Agency, I'll be sending out personal attacks on Thursday that kind of rob are you and cheerlead you, reminding you what it is about you that gives you courage. So I want you to be reminded of who you are if you forget in that cowardly moment that we all hit with when we face fear. Then Friday, Friday things are actually picking up. Check this out. Oh my God, it's fireworks up in space. Now after, this is my favorite part of the whole week because after God gives us the finger this way, God gives us the finger that way. And we get the finger to point and face and focus on in your case, boundaries. So on Friday and Saturday, the universe is cueing you. You want higher prices? You want to make that new money? You're going to have to make some boundary changes, says the universe, with an amazing yacht that lasts two days only. And it's only a two-day yacht. Friday and Saturday, all things must go. So the universe is pushing you. That means you're going to have to be comfortable with being poor for a while. You have to be comfortable maybe with getting off food stamps. You have to be, whatever it is, boundaries mean you have to get comfortable with new things. And you're going to have to actually do something about it says this particular placement this red line is one day only a balance between well what does that mean for the village and my own personal dreams so you're going between personal dreams and village issues there and starting to feel that as the moon opposes Pluto so it's a real balancing act really on Friday of all these energies but what you're doing is you're holding space at the end of the day the orchestra is playing a song that makes Pi Pisces want to raise their prices and to do that you've got to change your boundaries you got to balance your security of your own self and 
leaving the village, face your fears, da 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 da. You can see that if you cooperate with the universe, the universe is always trying to massage us and squeeze us into the next hot, hot shape, right? <laughs> so you'd have to go with it. Now we are talking about courage and strength at SG Live right now with the sun in Aries. We've been bringing Bernadette Morgan, our zodiac director of Aries, talking about how you act, how you have courage. We record these shows as with Carolyn Engel and myself, and that is live streaming with a chat room at 11 a.m. Pacific. You'll have to do the math on where it is for you, but come and check it out. And if you can't, remember we do record it. On Saturn Day, we are a day of healing on Saturday. Chiron rules a day, which is the comet asteroid that focuses our healing on planet Earth. The Yod does come to a full head on this particular day. So there is a day if you're going to probably change your boundaries. Knowing you as a Pisces, you'll put it off till Saturday. But that said, change your boundaries. And very interesting as well, the Soul Pyramid breaks. See this? The bottom line, the Soul Pyramid breaks. Jupiter on one hand, Mars on the other. The way I interpret this, usually in the first couple days of a grand trine breaking, the freed planets kind of swing, so to speak, energetically. That's the best way I feel. And what it means is, once you have these breaks, once you change these boundaries, pressure kind of moves on your life. And with that pressure, boom, you have big leaps in your thinking or in messages or understanding that comes, says Jupiter. And boom, you have big changes in your long-term relationships. So whatever this little dental floss is of boundaries and comfort zone, it actually undoes a lot of things you've had bounded up energetically, says the planets. Now on Sunday, it's a day of kind of job reboosting the batteries. Jupiter rules the day on Sunday, so Sunday's a very sunny day. It's a very spiritual day. We're going to feel good. The planets are still there, but they've quieted down, so you don't have the lines on here. And really, with the moon moving into Leo, you will be uh, very hyper aware, emotionally focused on uh, your daily moment. And that might be a day where all these changes catches up with your body. So you probably want to be extra nice to yourself and your health on Sunday. All right, Pisces, that's all I have for your seven-day mood forecast. I'll be sure to see you online or join the Guardian Agency or see me in a show. We're here all week for you. And otherwise, I'll see you in seven days with this again. Until then, live, love, be.